Hey guys, welcome to Mercat Studios. We'll be sketching in colored pencils today and we'll be coloring this girl that I drew last night in Prismacolor colored pencil Holbein and Faber Castell Polychromos. I'm starting out with the Holbein John Brilliant. Um, it's a beigey, peachy color, mostly kind of yellowy, to um, establish the skin colors. Uh, and yeah um, why do this to sh see where my skin will be then I do a reddish pink or a mauve or a henna colored um, pencil and I go back and forth and start to establish the gradient of the skin I do try to put those on on the nose on around the eyes around where I know there will be a gradient to sh help guide me um, in creating my gradients so as you can see I go back and forth with the John Brilliant pencil and yeah I now am looking for a third color for the gradient which is a pink color um, a lot of the anime girls have very very pink skin tones so I wanted to use that to deepen the gradients even more here we go and i do, do just blend them out with the lightest color and i don't really press hard on my pencils at this point i just want them to work together and blend out as well all right um and some colored pencil tips that i could think of use sharp pencils at this point i wasn't really thinking of how sharp my pencils were but sharp pencils sharp points do work the best when you try to work um colored pencils work on small areas at a time but also don't forget the picture as a whole also establish your gradients and put cools as i am doing right now on your portraits cool and warm colors just let them blend together to create your gradients for your portraits i also do not like using um very uh you know obviously dark colors like black on my painting so right now i am adding a lot of orange and carmine on my painting to show the glow and the brightness of the skin of this character i like that <laughs> because um it's a technique that i've learned from way back and i still kept it up to now i use it in my painting even um i love you putting eye red around the eyes the nose and the lips to show blood flow and to give it life it's like magic all right so i'm putting down some cool colors now with the purple or violet and darkening what needs to be darkened at this point i am trying to decide whether to do the hair or the eyes but then i use i decided now to focus on the eyes because it is the focal point of my painting so for this one i decided on a green and green gradient eye i started with this grass green color and then i did an indigo indigo or warm gray you can use either one to darken and to show um the darkest parts of your painting i mean painting not painting this is a drawing all right um i did the lashes with the grass green it's unusual but i really like how the effect of how it will end up later i also am trying out something new something fresh for this experiment colored pencil experiment at this point i wanted to do a gradient eye so i started to do lemon yellow for and place it all around the eye i try to avoid where the light is going to be so i try to avoid the white spaces although later on you can actually put a white out on it doesn't really matter but i really just like avoiding it if you can 
So this one I'm trying starting to do the middle color which is a teal or a parrot blue. And then I will soon be doing a true blue, a, a, a brighter blue to establish the gradient even more. And just like that, your gradient eye is almost done. What you can do to further this is, as you can see in the rest of the video, I will go back and forth to it to establish it and put more dark darkness into it like indigos and purples and darker greens and really deepen the top where the shadow of the eye will be and yeah I do not use black except on the last part I think I used ink black to to darken the darkest part of the eye the iris all right so now I am doing the lashes with indigo and then putting indigo wherever the darks will be in my drawing so yeah bad all right there we go and yeah so i also use uh i really love the eyes <laughs> i also use purple to dark to and pinks again i really want to show that color of the skin at this point she looks a little funky she looks a little weird because the hair is not colored yet and just the skin and the eyes are colored so we really don't know how bright the skin should be until that but i am starting to darken the um, radiance ever so slightly and the thing with colored pencil is that it builds up gradually it's not a fast process like paints wherein you slather them on very fast. No, with colored pencils, you need a lot of patience. You need to learn how to build up colors as you go along. And so if you're not patient, colored pencils might not be the medium for you. You might want to try a faster medium. All right, so there we go. We started another phthalo blue and I started doing the eyes again. And then I decided to use the teal for the hair. At this point, I really don't know where the, the art will go. I don't, I'm not really familiar with and I don't really paint hair that often. I mean that wells yet so also coloring hair is tedious so I just really wanted to get it done so I am going to cheat later and you can see how it is I am now using the mid color the the middle color to um, to establish where the hair should be and I put it everywhere the hair should be and what you can do to speed up the process of hair is just get your darker color and start um, attacking it. This is a darker turquoise and I attack, attack it and create shadows where the shadows should be. And um, with that, you should be kind of good and use like the seek, uh, um, go to the top and the bottom of the hair uh, strand and just um, darken the tips and the tops of the head and you should be good with drawing hair but what well, I did it a step further and I added some purples and pinks and greens and yet and mixed up a lot of my colors to create this mermaidy kind of look I do flip my um, coloring a lot because um that is how i am the my best stroke is that way i should show you um one one of these days i should um, talk about that best stroke which is used in inking and colored pencils and uh and coloring and so when i do color something that is out of my best stroke i do flip the picture over and that makes it easier for me to draw or paint or <laughs> to reach the um, the points that I need to reach without straining my arm 
right so yeah I'm using violet right now just darkening up things and establishing more radiance and darks and lights so with the hair all you have to do is make some places dark the tops of the heads the tips of um, the bangs um, where the hair is dark kissed near the neck and it is brightest on the top of their head or where the light hits it and then here's an effect that i really love in this paint in this drawing is the lemon yellow highlight that i did um at first i thought it would ruin the painting but no it did not i really like how it brightened up the whole hair and made it look a little bit more magical all right i actually succeeded that here brava all right okay this point i just wanted to leave it at that but drawing a floating head doesn't suit me so i will try to finish this painting um i mean this drawing with as much detail as possible okay but then i will stop talking now and let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace and music and i please look forward to more of my videos very soon i will be drawing um a samba uh, i'm an african warrior i'll be painting that tomorrow starting tomorrow and i'll be reviewing a paint set palette that um, a friend of mine gave me um or prepared for me uh, i also will be doing sketch book sundays wherein i will be featuring nadine one of my favorite local artists here in the philippines she's also a good friend of mine and we've been exchanging a lot of ideas together and her oc chloe will be my baby on sunday i will take oc um chloe and paint her in gouache and hope for the best okay also um if you want me to talk about anything if you have any questions feel free to ask me and leave me notes on my social media page i do love receiving comments notes and um, suggestions from all of you guys also um thank you for supporting my last colored pencil video if you did watch that i finally updated for the longest time this has been uh, requested and i finally did it sorry if for the long wait <laughs> i actually got to it finally and yeah i hope that this also helps you guys if there are any questions leave them in the comments i do answer them and even ha after how long i still do answer them and uh, i do try to keep up with comments and suggestions and feedback as well um if you do like this video also give it a thumbs up and please comment down below what else you want me to try what else you want me to draw um if you want me to do more colored pencil sketches if you want me to do more anime style drawings and or if you want me to go back to my paintings and um do uh do more of those speed paints or if you want me to do um, environment studies and stuff please let me know because i do love hearing from you guys and talking to you uh this um girl is finally named um, queen ichigo just because i put strawberries on her dress and <laughs> yeah as you can see i do i did use my um blending pencil which helped me um smoothen my my coloring because i was rushing this and to make it look decent at, at the very least <laughs> um anyway let's get back to um the announcements and other things i will also be posting some 
previews on all of my new book projects soon that is very exciting to me I do really want to get that done very soon so the schedules of Marikit Studios might change a little bit just to accommodate a lot of things that has been happening a lot of the positive things that has been happening to the studio and to my life um, right so yeah I really enjoyed sketching this girl and coloring this girl I really like how she turned out I, even though there are parts where I was thinking what the hell am I doing but I as I said before in my former videos all art is a puzzle um, it's pieces are, are, are puzzles just to be uh, uh, solved and I've managed to solve this puzzle and I, I really enjoyed solving it as well the process is where I learned the most. I do want to work with colored pencils more. So kind of expect that sometimes I will be breaking them out and doing more portraits, more um, things with them. Maybe next time I can do some more, much more realistic folk portraits and doing more tips on colored pencils. I just really wanted to update my anime girl colored pencil drawing video so I did this first all right what else do I need to say as um, there are more uh, a lot of uh, if you have any video ideas for me please do let me know and yeah I hope you guys think dream create and believe in yourself because that is how our art can save you if you think it if you want it if you dream it then it's real you know what you are um you are what you feel so please keep positive vibes even through all these things that are happening in the world um just keep believing that miracles can happen because you are you yourself as an artist is a miracle maker all your creations are miracles and are just beautiful so keep on practicing keep on working hard push until you reach your goals i wasn't i have been wishing that someday i could be as good as or even better than some of my art my, uh, art idols and now I have reached to the, that point where a lot of people look up to me and my art style and I th am very grateful so yeah thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something from this video if um, and just keep on creating God bless. Bye.